So uh, what we're going to do is then look at a little bit in particular to try and um, play and improve. And it might be that your teacher has mentioned something to you in your lesson or you've got something in your practice book which has been noted as an improvement to make. Now, I looked in Mrs Henderson's practice book <laughs> and it said, you've got to be really careful with these bits because you're playing two notes at a time. You have to make sure your fingers go down exactly together. Can we hear what happens? What happened in your lesson? Okay, so there's a note in the, in the practice book that says, you make sure your fingers go down exactly together at the beginning. You might not have a clue what that means as a parent, but if you ask the young person, then they should say, oh yeah, it means I've got to get, and they'll know. So uh, here we go. We're going to just try that section up to there. And Mrs. Henderson is going to work on it now. And she's going to work on it and see whether she can play it. She's getting her fingers exactly together. She's not even going to bother with the left hand because that's not the target. She's not bothering to play the whole piece. She's not even bothering to play right up to here where we just did. But she wants to get it perfect by playing those together. That's what she's concentrating on. That's what she's going to work on now. Very good. Under pressure as well. It's really embarrassing to do that in front of people. Um, so did you notice she didn't play it in time even? It wasn't, it wasn't up to speed. She didn't necessarily keep it exactly in time. Because it wasn't about speed. It wasn't about time. It was about togetherness. That was the one aim of that time. That was great. Now she's done that, she can take it on one step further and say, OK, that's good. I've got it. Can I do that now in time? Can I do it at tempo? She might take the next stage and give herself another challenge. Let's have a listen. That's sounding much better. But of course, things get much more complicated when you put the left hand in as well, and she's going to go to the left hand a bit now. So what's happening now is that Mrs Henderson is now putting into her mind the things that she can teach herself to do automatically. <coughs> and it's really important this technical stuff becomes automatic. Because there are some things we can't do automatically. Those are the communication things, and that's the stuff we really need to concentrate on, should be concentrating on as a musician. But we can't do it if we're still thinking about the technical stuff. So now Mrs Henderson has done that. Mrs Henderson, when you teach piano pupils, do you teach them to repeat? What's your general bit of advice once they've got it? I do, I'm a bit mean. I tend to... Um if there's an area that's a problem, we go over it, and I have a bit of a rule. If I've got a young child, they have to do it five times in a row without a mistake. And if they get it wrong and they're on time number four, we go back to the beginning and we stop again at number one, I'm afraid. If they're slightly older, we do ten times in a row. Because the more they repeat, the more safe they feel with how they're performing with that bar. And then suddenly that bar doesn't look like such a big ogre on the page. So that bit of repetition is very important. <coughs> it sounds really dull. And the thing is, it is really dull. And we just have to get that. Because that's not what playing an instrument's all about. What playing an instrument's all about is how you can communicate once you've learnt those things. But of course the story goes on and there's a nice loud bit here. And so the young learner then thinks, brilliant, I can do it, I'm going to carry on, woohoo! <coughs> but, buzz, the alarm goes off, time's up, finish, stop. When things are going well, the young person is going to be tempted to just carry on, because they're getting a good feedback from what they're doing. Don't go on, absolutely don't go on. Quit while you're ahead, it's really important, because then you quit having achieved something, that's what it's all about.